You know, Corning has an incredible heritage in space and in collaboration with NASA, going all the way back to every manned space flight having a piece of Corning glass in the uh, orbiters, from Alan Shepard's first flight all the way through to the shuttle missions. Corning has been on board, and with respect to space exploration, this particular project, New Horizons, um, another project that's launching in 2018, the, uh, the James Webb Telescope, as well as the Hubble, which is uh, very noteworthy, all contain uh, Corning technologies. So we have a very long heritage, and we're very proud that our materials are the first choice of NASA for these types of applications. Very, very high precision machining capability that Corning has in its Keene, New Hampshire manufacturing facility. The ability to produce a mirror with extremely good optical properties that can withstand the rigors of space, right, and be able to travel for nearly 10 years and be stable over the course of its travel and then produce the images that are now coming back is really what Corning brought to this. NASA's mission has changed with the advent of different missions beyond just the manned space flights. Commercial ventures are now putting devices in space, both in looking at manned as well as um, unmanned. And we absolutely see opportunities for Corning technology to continue to play. It's a decades old capability, but very few people in the world can do it. And as long as man continues to, to search the galaxy, you know, Corning's going to be there.